Hello friends, Don Immel here. Since late March and early April, people from Pennsylvania and Delaware have been complying with the stay-at-home order issued by their governor's offices. Group meetings were initially limited to 250, then quickly the number decreased to 50, and eventually no more than 10. This immediately impacted sporting events, social events, and worship services. It has been very gratifying to watch the church adjust to these temporary restrictions. Since our inception, the church has never been contained to a room or building. In fact, it was nearly 300 years before the church had a worship edifice of its own. When Jesus said, I will build my church, he wasn't referring to buildings. He was referring to people. Although meeting together in a building with an auditorium or sanctuary is preferable, it has never been essential. So during this pandemic, the church has continued to function and even thrive, fulfilling Jesus' prophetic declaration, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it, against his church. In the upcoming weeks and months, our governing officials will begin to loosen restrictions on social distancing and group gatherings. Although it is not possible to anticipate how quickly or what quantities to expect, we are aware that a three-phase reopening process has been identified here in Pennsylvania by Governor Wolf. Moving from the red phase to the yellow phase will only change the meeting sizes for our groups going from 10 to 25. We presume that these standards apply to a group meeting in one room or auditorium. This week, the Pendel Ministry Network Presbytery met via Zoom to explore what guidance would be appropriate for our churches under these circumstances. After prayer and discussion, our leadership team felt that it is in order to affirm our previous communication that our network churches should comply with local, state, and federal guidelines for conducting worship services. When a region changes from one phase to another, the church should cooperate with the standards set forth within that phase. It is important to understand that we have two very important responsibilities to steward. First, we do well to steward the responsibility of giving reasonable protection for the health of people in our churches, especially those most vulnerable whose age or pre-existing conditions significantly increase their risk if they contract the virus. Secondly, we must steward the impressions that the community receives if we disregard the caution and fear that dominates the public during this time of response and recovery to the coronavirus. Some churches and leaders have created a long-term impression that will hinder not only their ministry, but the ministry of others, because they have communicated a cavalier attitude toward safety measures implemented to slow the spread of this virus, and ultimately it saves lives. We understand that there are debates over methodology, and we embrace the right to enter into such discussions. However, until debates are resolved by adjusting applicable health standards, we're giving counsel to our Pendel Ministry Network churches to comply with local, state, and federal laws. In so doing, we are expressing care and compassion for the health of vulnerable individuals and reinforcing our testimony that we love God and we love our neighbors. God bless you as you continue to care for the church, reach your community, and bring glory to God in word and in deed.